Hi there, today I'm with a video. I'm showcasing the Sweet Stamp Shop and Coordinations uh, fun that we're having this weekend over on both blogs. We have teamed up and we are showcasing each other's product and it's super fun. Now I've never been exposed to the Coordinations cardstock before, but I really like it. They come in a lot of different colors, textures, and they even have glitter paper and tags. And what's really cool about them is you can do a lot with them as far as sanding and distressing because they have colors underlying that will show through. So let's show you a couple of different techniques. Here's dry embossing and sanding and I'm just using my cuddle bug. I've got my A plate and B plate and I'm using the cuddle bug Swiss dots folder and um, I'm just putting in my cardstock. You want to put in the side up that you actually want to have the embossed image on. So I'm just running it through my cuddle bug and then you'll get your embossed image on this gorgeous shiny cardstock that they have. Now the other side of this black is a really pretty tan. So I'm taking the coordination sanding block that they have and I am applying very little pressure and I am just sanding up the beautiful tan that's coming through on those dots. They also have a product called the Dust Buddy and it picks up all of that sanding debris very easily. I'm also showing you how you can edge distress. Here I'm using a close to my heart edge distressor but a lot of companies make them. I believe that um, uh, Tim Holtz has one. But before I got this I actually used something that I really liked and I just used my kitchen knife. If you have a serrated knife um, you can just run it a love, you know, along the side of your paper and you'll get this beautifully distressed um, edge. Now I'm going to show you antiquing and uh, I'm just taking a piece of red colored cardstock. They're kind of two different tones of red. One's brighter, one's lighter and I'm crumpling it up and I'm holding it tight in my fist and crumpling it up and then I am smoothing it out onto my uh, workspace and I'm taking that sanding block and I'm just rubbing my sanding block right over it and you'll see those edges really shine through. Now because I'm using red on red it's a very subtle look but if you were to use like a two-tone card base like that black you'd really get those crease lines shining through. So that's a really fun way to add some texture to your project. Now here I want to show you about scoring and I'm using the score pal but Martha Stewart has a scoreboard and there's a score buddy and there's all kinds of scoring um, tools um, and I'm just quickly scoring some lines for you. Um, and I'm using a black on one side teal on the other side cardstock from Coordinations. And I'm just quickly creating a score pattern for you so you'll be able to see. Then I'm going to take that sanding block by Coordinations and I'm just going to sand right over it. And look at those score lines, how they shine through with that underlying color. It's a super fun and quick and easy way to add a pattern or texture or something to your card base and you can uh, you know do a whole sheet of this and keep it off to the side and then you'll always have that um, to use in the future. And last I want to show you about tearing. I've done this before on past projects making hills um, but here I'm using um, one side is textured one side is solid and I'm just tearing. I mean it's so easy and you get this pretty color that shines through um, across the edge and if you want to add some more dimension to it just tear it again and use that opposing side and you can create something really pretty. Now here we are assembling the card and I'm going to be using the st Sweet Stamp Shop Across the Miles card and I'm sorry I did some of this off camera I thought I was filming but evidently I wasn't. So I'm using that uh, big map image and I basically took some Jenny Bolin speckled egg ink and I stamped that map image onto some vellum and then I set it aside to dry because uh, it does take a while to dry and I cut it out obviously and I have no idea what I'm talking about at this point. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that, uh, that card base that we used before with the Coordinations cardstock, and I also found some pretty blue uh, cardstock, and I stamped uh, Envelope Pattern by Hero Arts with some Hero Arts Shadow Ink just to create some, a nice design for the, for the card base. Now, I don't do sketches, so I'm trying in my mind right now to figure out how I want this card to look. So I'm just going to work with that embossed panel because that's where all my images are going to go. Now I'm taking some uh, vellum runner here and uh, it's really great. You run it against your vellum and you get an invisible, you can't really see the adhesive for the most part. Sometimes it gets a little clumpy and I have to scrape it off with my nail. But uh, it's virtually invisible so it's a great thing to use um, when you're using vellum and all these supplies will be linked up on my blog post. And I'm just going to adhere it right to that panel because I really loved how those embossed dots shine through. And I'd also stamp the map a second time and cut out Florida because that's where I live here. 
and uh, I'm going to uh, put it right there over Florida just to accent that hey I'm in Florida so I'm going to put that down with some Tombow multi liner I absolutely love this glue I have several bottles of it I don't ever want to be without it and another thing is you do have a few seconds to kind of move your image around if you need to before it dries so I like that too just in case I'm off center or something when I'm applying my uh, my image there now I did decide that that was that Florida was a little too white for me so I'm going to take a Tim Holtz distress marker and a water brush pen and just quickly color in uh, some blue right there so it'll kind of match a little bit better And the last thing I'm going to do is decide what I want to do as far as the sentiment. And I keep all of my cardstock strip, card strips, especially with nice cardstock, and that's Nina Solar White Paper. And I'm taking the little label that they have on the stamp set and then the image. They have several images that nestle right inside that label beautifully. And I'm going to take that image and I'm going to, uh, st I'm going to stamp it twice because I'm known for not centering my stamped images very well. So better to have it stamped twice just in case I mess up. And I'm going to take some Jenny Bowen cough syrup ink. I just wanted another splash of color, and I'm stamping Miss You right in the middle. And I'm making this card with my husband in mind because he's in the military, so uh, uh, he definitely will be missed. So I'm making this with him in mind. And I'm using my honeybee scissors. I absolutely love these scissors for fussy cutting. And they also um, have a no stick blade. And I, I cut a lot of uh, pieces of cardstock that have adhesive on the back of them, so that adhesive won't stick to your blade, which is nice. Now I'm going to use some dimension and kind of pop that little sentiment strip up with some uh, dimension, but before I do, I want to go ahead and adhere that panel down to my card base. I'm going to be using the Glue Glide, Glide Pro, Glue Glider Pro. It's a fabulous, fabulous adhesive. It comes with a lot of uh, adhesive in it, and it's real easy. The cartridges are real easy. You just pop it out, pop it in to change out, so I, I'm a big fan. Again, it'll be linked up on my blog if you're interested. And then I'm just uh, putting that sentiment directly onto my card, and, and there's my card. So um, I hope this uh, video gave you some ideas, and I hope that you'll try out the Coordinations cardstock because it's super fun, and you can do a lot with it. There's a lot more techniques, I'm sure. Um, and then the Sweet Stamp Shop, head over to that blog and check out all of their adorable stamps. Um, I really had a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.